that? Where the hell have you been? Dude, I've just come back from the future. And check this out. Wow. It's an SX70 with a time machine. Okay. So what exactly is a time machine? Well, it means that you can control like the exact shutter speed on the on your each Polaroid photo. Cool. That's future from the technology right there, man. I wonder if Evan Land, Doctor Evan Land, thought of this when he was alive. Who knows? Is Jake in? We're gonna show him. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna hear his take on it. Yeah. What do I say? Here we have Jake, the instant camera guy, who's known for restoring Polaroid cameras and vintage cameras all throughout Australia. Well, you're based in Perth, you moved to Melbourne, but you, you supply around Australia. Yeah, absolutely. And so, we're, we're looking for your take on the new uh, 670M by Mint. Hmm. My take was hesitant at first because I didn't really understand what the point was of a manual SX70 camera. However, after using one, I can definitely see the advantages. So, for those familiar with the SX70 series camera, you'll know that Originally, the exposure was all done automatically via the electric eye at the front, and you could adjust exposure up and down with the lighten and darken wheel. And that worked fine. However, a few factors come into play which make that less ideal these days. The first being that Impossible Project's new batches of film are still currently, at the moment, a little too fast, and run closer to 200 or even 300 ISO, depending on the batch. Combine this with the fact that the light meters on the camera can decay over the years, because after all the SX70s are approximately 40 years old now, can lead to overexposed photos and just an exposure that's very, very hard to, to gauge sometimes, even with correcting the lighten and darken wheel. So the advantage of the time machine is that it allows you to select the shutter speed manually so that you know it's going to be precisely accurate every single time. Mm. It also allows you to easily do long exposures. And if you still want to go back to the automatic way, there is an auto setting as well. You can also just take it off and use the, um, just, yeah, you just take that off and you can just adjust the exposure wheel like any normal SX70 and that works just as fine. That way you can also put the flash in as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So it really is a camera for all occasions. I had a chance to use this and um, it's actually a very interesting experience because using XS70 before, I don't have to worry about shutter speed or anything like that just to make sure that this is underexposed because of impossible 300 ISO film but besides that, it's all good to go but this time having the um, exposure speed um, on the dial it actually reminds me that actually I have to meter each and every shot mm. because when you have this on <coughs> The aperture is like F8, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? fixed at F8, so you're going to compensate for the shutter speed. I mean, coming down to the user, it sort of depends on whether you prefer to have completely auto um, exposure or you want to have a bit of manual control. That's right. So, uh, ha having a play with this, the advantages, uh, Sebastian probably said before, is you can use any XS70 or 600 film on this camera and just mm -hmm. have to play around with the shutter speed. So, I was going out on a normal sort of it was a bit cloudy day, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was day? a bit crap that day. But... So, so I was shooting mainly on a, on an F8. I was shooting about 125, 60, or 250. Rarely I got the 250, but mainly about 125. Unfortunately, even though Jake had to leave, I can still give you an experience on how to use the camera. If you come down to our shop, and I can get it out for you, show you how it works and what to do with it, and. If you're really interested, we can give you a special price for it, and we'll, um, yeah, you'll be able to see the results from it as superb. Gotta run. See you guys. See you, man. See ya. And, um, there's some samples, pictures, pictures coming up later, and you can see. Mm. There's some really wonderful shots. 